listen you don't have to do it alone this is something i wish somebody told me in the very beginning when i said i wanted to homeschool although i didn't really care about the support or i didn't care about like who you know who else wanted to do it i knew the decision to homeschool was one that i had to make for my family and one that i did make for my family but in the beginning y'all it was very i felt isolated because i didn't come from a homeschooling background i went to public school my mom went to public school like i only knew of a few homeschoolers in my family and they were looked at in a different way like i used to hear family members say oh they talk proper or they think they're more than everybody else and so i kind of had a negative look of homeschoolers but when i had my own children and i took a look at the, the kids who were homeschooled i have two cousins now that have went to medical school were homeschooled all their lives in a different state so as i'm homeschooling my, my children now i see the perks the benefits the necessity and the overall joy and rewards of homeschooling so in today's video i will be sharing about the importance of a homeschool community the importance of getting some type of support when you are homeschooling right if you're new here i'm chadamon i'm a homeschool mom to a six-year-old a soon to be five-year-old and a soon to be two-year-old right but you know i knew that i wanted to homeschool from day one right i've been a stay-at-home mom since day one my babies have never went to a daycare a preschool um or been enrolled in any type of program or anything like that so everything that they have learned i have taught them in some way or another or they have learned and observed through um beneficial environments whether that's you know story times or different events they've gone to but i've taught them pretty much everything they know so it's like we can do this we are their first teacher but it can feel very isolated right it can feel very strange you know weird like is this the best decision you know have you questioning yourself and your abilities so i just wanted to start off with that because i did feel that way in the very beginning until i found my tribe y'all i had stopped using instagram for a very long time i'm not sure why but one day i was like you know what i had been sharing my journey of teaching my daughters on facebook in the beginning it was just my oldest daughter right you know how i was sharing the things that i was teaching her the things that i was buying for her um how fast she was learning and stuff like that but i didn't have anyone else that was doing the same thing so it was like who can i you know connect with who can i watch who can i interact with engage with converse with about the things that i want to do for my daughter right and so something led me to instagram and i found the homeschool community and it has been amazing ever since like i still have those same accounts that I follow, we interact quite frequently. We feel like we know each other because we just do some some of the same things, eat some of the same things. Like we have some of the same goals and values and stuff like that. So the homeschooling community on Instagram has changed my life for the better, okay? Because I felt like I was a unicorn out here. Like I was the only one who was doing this stuff. But then I, you know, found Instagram, as I said, and it has been a good time ever since. So I've already talked about instagram right so instagram is not a specific like community where you have specific groups and stuff like that it's more so you're finding like-minded accounts whether they have homeschooling in their bio in their name stay at home moms whatever the case may be you know whatever you're looking for you just type in those keywords and you can find something in your area my thing has always been moms that look like me you know black moms black stay-at-home moms black moms who you know changed up everything to ensure that children had the the best quality of life in terms of food you know whether you breastfeed or you home birth or you know all of those things those are very important to me so i was searching those things and looked for different accounts to find and i came across some great ones right and they have been so beneficial for me so instagram is a good place to start but if you're looking for something that's already well established um something that has a lot of information already in it check out facebook groups um i started with facebook groups when i was breastfeeding my first daughter who is six now and um it was a black face black breastfeeding group i think it was called black breastfeeding mom support or something like that long story short facebook groups are some of the most um beneficial groups out there especially when you just get started so i am in a couple of facebook groups for homeschooling um they have like melanin mom homeschool they have like homeschooling groups by your state. You can have homeschool groups by your city, wherever you are. You can start your own homeschooling group. And I have been a part of a few, right? And I use them for different reasons. Some are for like the legality, the legality part of homeschooling in Alabama. Some are for 
you know play dates and field trips some are for resources like curriculum and stuff like that so it's very important to find your people um you don't have to do it alone you don't have to do all the research yourself there are veteran homeschool parents stay at home moms whatever you're searching for that can help you and guide you right and so this is something I'm, I'm looking to do myself but online communities are so beneficial there are like opportunities for you to sign up for um you know memberships and stuff like that webinars different classes so yeah that's the first thing and in those groups you can introduce yourself right it, it'll be weird to join a group and not interact so introduce yourself you know ask the questions that whatever you have um share information that you have that someone else is asking for it's kind of like you know give and take right you know you ask they give they ask you give you know you bring things together and build a community right of like-minded people same goals you know and this is a really beautiful thing right um and i have had great success thus far with the groups that i was in the only thing is with the homeschool group that i joined um they kind of tailor their activities and events around the older homeschool children and so it's very hard to well it's not very hard but it's mm, Okay, I'm going to say it's very hard to say encouraged, motivated, and like, you know, en not energized. I don't know what word I'm trying to use. When you have a four-year-old that you know you'll be homeschooling, but many of the events people be like, you know, just let them play or, you know, do this, do that. And not like encouraging you to be like, okay, you see those things. Here's some things you need to work on. Play-based learning. Here's something you can do. Like, I don't get met with that welcoming, you know energy and spirit is more so like you know you have two years before she can get started with this stuff and i'm like i have my mind made up i know what she needs now you know and stuff like that and now that she's six you know she's soaring so if i had to wait it and use some of the advice that people have the people gave me in the very beginning you know it probably would have set us back but i'm not saying that in a negative light right because all groups are not made for all people right and so you can take you know different information and stuff like that we did participate in field trips we did learn a great deal of information because as i said veteran homeschools will let you know hey this is what the homeschool laws are in alabama um these are some groups and resources you can use here's some people you can talk to about curriculum and stuff like that so they were very very helpful so i'm not discrediting that i just didn't like that most of the things were tailored towards you know older homeschoolers and not the younger ones and i do understand that you know if your child is a teenager or they're close to being preteen, then you have to cater your activities towards your children age range which is why i'm going to create my own group and i have started the process of um you know start the process of creating a homeschool group geared towards kids around my children ages so i say four to eight but being a stay-at-home mom a homeschool mom i do understand that you know stay-at-home moms really want to get together as well because we can feel isolated so i'm going to expand the group to say stay-at-home moms and homeschooling moms and just kind of like cap the age range where the events will be educational and stuff like that so i can make sure that you know younger children are the center of all of the planning and they can benefit from the things that i have planned for them so that's that we went from online communities to in-person communities so i only joined one group um and it really wasn't the best fit for us every so often we'll still attend you know just to build community in the in the community right but in terms of like the goals the visions that i have for my two daughters um and my son you know coming up as a homeschool you know as homeschool children, I want something a little bit more differently. And as they grow older, of course, the vision will evolve over time. But yeah, y'all, if y'all hear the noise in the background, my kids are outside and I'm like, you know what? I have to do this video. Okay, so the Okay, so let's get into what is a homeschool group, what is a play group, what is all of this? This is where this is just an in-person a group where you meet to do things like play at the park where you meet to go on field trips where you meet to do community events right some people even form co-ops where they are teaching specific subjects subjects different areas and stuff like that and they meet weekly a few times a week a few times a month and so while i'm still adding out the details from my own homeschool group um i think i just want to do like twice a month you know for homeschool park days art in the park and like a field trip i do realize that i'm not a very um 
extrovert type mom like i don't really want to be around people all the time i do want to have that time with my family where we do things along and make our own memories but i also want to give back to the community and help them build and socialize and stuff like that so i feel like a home homeschool group is really good for that but i really can't commit to doing two three times a week every single week i just can't see myself doing that right now um I don't know. I feel like my energy level will be like drained and I wouldn't want to do a lot of other things. But that's neither here nor there. Like if you know you can do more and want to be around people more, then you know you go for it for your group. But for me, what I'm personally thinking is once or twice a month or at least the maximum will be once a week, right? Um, and that's because I have a vision. You know, for some groups, you have rules, you have guidelines, you have different requirements and things of that nature. So for mine, you know, I kind of want to be in charge of how things run, how things are set up. Like I have a vision. I know I want my children to, you know, learn and do and stuff like that. So I just want to be able to have those, um, make those decisions for my kids and then make sure everybody else is on the same page with what we you know do or whatever that's that so so far i have made an announcement like you know i did a few instagram stories and a facebook post on saying that i want to start my own homeschool community it's going to be for field trips meeting meetups and just networking and community building a community as a black homeschooling um black homeschool you know group community or whatever case may be so i've made this stuff i'm creating a facebook group right and i just asked someone well someone on instagram dm me a good app that i can use to host my group where we're able to schedule events you know chat it's just a whole lot of features in the app the app is called geneva never heard of it before today but i just set up the group or whatever and i'm loving the features because i want a way to talk to people outside of these platforms like the Facebook group I don't think it's gonna be a good fit for us but if I have something on my phone like an app where we can get real-time notifications and stuff like that I think it could be very beneficial um, we can also have different resources like it could be a great thing doing things on the app I'm also considering creating a membership for my online homeschool community um, you know my subscribers and stuff like that so we can all have a chance to talk collaborate you know things of that nature because believe it or not i felt more related or connected to online homeschool moms than i did with homeschool moms in the same area as me and i guess that's because with the online homeschooling you can see moms going to different events and sharing different curriculum and doing sharing different meals they eat you know places they shop at and it's like i know our values align so i'm just trying to find that same thing in person because in person you know friendships in person um connections and stuff like that is very important and i also don't want to do the thing alone right i don't want to be the only one trying to build a community i want a, a group of like-minded moms so we can build something that's beneficial impactful something that we can leave as a legacy for our kids so um hopefully this this was beneficial y'all and helpful in some type of way like you don't have to do it alone um you have to do your research on the different types of groups but you can do a quick google search to be like hey what are some homeschool groups in whatever state you're in so i'm in alabama and i did that a lot there are groups specifically for field trips groups for homeschool um curriculum groups for play dates groups for events you know groups for different clubs that your children participate in as far as extra extra curricular activities so i'm just super excited on you know getting started with this thing and um making it something that's making it something that's you know meaningful not only to me and my children but also other families as well um and i do pray that this is a very success you know safety is my top priority for anything related to our children so i really want to be intentional with kind of like screening people like if i have never talked to you met you in person spoke with you like there are some measures that i'm going to take to ensure that hey i know who you are i don't want to be putting out events and addresses to people that i don't know anything about right and the other thing i'm going to say is i'm never going to be at a place where it's super personal to like my home or you know super close to where i stay like i want all of our outings and events to be at public places that people would normally go so things like parks or libraries or just public museums and stuff like that because you just never know people's intentions but 
you know, I don't want to think about the negative of the situation, but you do have to be prepared because you don't know people. Like, people have negative intentions sometimes. So, that's one thing to look out for. Like, you know, if you see a lot of profiles that don't have pictures or people that's not interacting in groups anymore, then you may want to remove them. But also, I wouldn't put too much personal information out there, you know, but that's the thing about trying to meet up with people and figure out who they are first so you can know just how much you can share with them just how much y'all can be around each other and stuff like that so i still have a lot of things to work out but so far things are going good and i have had a positive experience thus far with just meeting with other homeschool groups and seeing what they have to offer you know speaking with other moms and stuff like that so yeah that's where we are in terms of me getting started with my own homeschooling group and just the benefits of joining any homeschool group um there are a lot of online you know people that i follow my favorite instagram accounts and stuff like that that has been so beneficial so maybe i'll share those one day um just in a post so you guys can go follow them as well but that's all i have for this video if you have any questions or have any feedback on any of this related to like homeschooling community drop it in the um comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and then and enjoy anything motherhood homeschool related make sure you uh subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video